Okay, part two of the recipe book. A lot of this is going to be copy-paste if we do it right. Um, so to get our list of our table of contents so we can get our second and third recipe, we can highlight this list and we can control C and control V to paste. Oh, that's not the paste. Let's do this again. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Okay, then Control V to paste again. And we want number two to be um, tri tip. So I'm going to call this hashtag tri tip. And we're going to call this tri tip sandwich. And the next one we're going to call key lime. Called pie actually, and then the title will be key lime pie. So I'm doing an appetizer, sandwich, and dessert. Key lime pie is going to be that. And so now I've got my list. Now I just have to reference where they're going to go. So I've got H2 ID, which is wings. So what I can do now is copy this. Paste. Oh, my bad. I do not want to do paste there. I want to do it. I want to do it after this. So I will go after this recipe. And now we're going to go with our tri tip sandwich. And what did I call it up here? Tri-tip all lowercase letters. So I'm going to do that here. And I'm going to call this tri-tip sandwich. Like that. So now I've got garlic chicken wings, I've got tri-tip sandwich, I've got to copy the time and serve and the tables so I can do that. So I'm going to copy all of this. And I'm even going to copy all of this and just put in the words that I want later. Okay, so control C going down here, control V. So now tri-tip sandwich. Let's say the tri-tip sandwiches take a little less time. Let's call it 35 minutes. Let's say the same two to four people because this is the same people for dinner party. The ingredients and quantities are going to be different so I'm going to go I'm going to go bread. Let's call it, if it's four people, let's call it eight slices. And let's go with um, provolone cheese. I'll just call it provolone so it lines up right. And let's say eight slices. Sorry, four, no, eight slices, two slices a piece. Let's do that, okay. And now the directions are gonna be a little different. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go to my tri-tip recipe that I found and I'm gonna copy these directions. So actually, let's copy these one at a time because I don't want that graphic. Well, let's see what happens. Control C, come back. I'm going to actually, yeah, let's do it separately because since I already have my LI tags, I could do that. I can do this. I have step one through four, so I can just do this. Control C, 
go here, go into my Li1, press B, okay, and then I can go to step two, control C, go back, control V, and so forth for all four steps okay so I've went ahead and I went and did all the copy and pasting that I wanted to do to get all three recipes so now you can see I have a table of contents and if I click on any one of these that'll take me to my garlic chicken wings if I press on tri-tip sandwich it takes me to my tri-tip sandwich and if I click on key lime pie, it'll take me all the way down to my key lime pie. So all I really did was I did a lot of copy and pasting and changed the IDs to what they needed to be. I used my hashtags for those links like we learned in the previous lessons. I copied and pasted like these, uh, these tables. So this is a table with ingredients and quantity and I just changed the recipe based on what was there so garlic chicken wings are going to have different ingredients than tri-tip sandwich which is going to have different ingredients and quantities than uh, key lime pie but the coating is all the same it's just changing some of the words and then um, the directions obviously so I just went to the different websites that I got these recipes from and I put copy and pasted right in there uh, the information and I just really made them simplified so like this one the tri-tip sandwich is only four directions and you can see that I've got you know directions with an ordered list and I have three different recipes and then down here at the bottom I was able to for the sources and this is right here all of this will show you how to do these links that'll go to external links for the sources so if I were to click on any one of these, like if I click on tri-tip sandwich, it will redirect me to the tri-tip sandwich recipe. So having said that, now we need to go and do some pictures and we need to do the CSS. Now I'm going to do a little um, cheat again and over here you can see I've got my travel web page done and I think I can just kind of take the style section from here and, and it'll give me a head start on doing my recipe book. So. I'm going to do the style section here and control C to copy and it's going to go under the, oh they've got the style for me already so I can actually not even do the style tags, I can just do everything in between. So I'm going to copy, I'm going to go here, I'm going to paste and so what that does is it gives me the same color scheme as my, uh, my travel page so if I wanted to mix things up like background color, I'm not really digging that, so I'm going to change the RGB to something a little lighter, actually much lighter, like that. So let's do that. And then, let's see, I kind of like my OLs, you know, white, that's fine. I don't think I have an owner to this, so that's not going to make a difference. Paragraph, my paragraphs are going to be a certain color so that's good I'm gonna change those headings so I have h2 headings that are green right now um, and I want to change those so I'm gonna change the RGB from green to maybe what would be good with this pink or purple let's go with like a nope. then I'd have to change the The wording to let's go with that's a little better yeah I'm gonna go with that and my h1 tag is Cheney's recipe book so if I want to change that to a different color as well I think I'll go with maybe yellow yep so now I've got myself my CSS tags that I've kind of borrowed from a different project and um, I think we're good to go on as, as far as H1 CSS tag, H2 CSS. So this is H1, these are H2, so that's background color versus color. 
Um, I could go in here and do this. So I could do, let's go in here and do like a H2 curly bracket color RGB. Um, and we're going to make our actual title tags. So, oh, and I gotta put my squiggly bracket, of course. So, I've got my RGBs, and then I have this, and I gotta do my squiggly bracket. And that's gonna change the actual title so that I can see them a little better, which is good. Okay, so that was iPod. iPod characters. And I think the next need for most people was CSS part one, possibly, or CSS part two. Let's do the travel form 15 versus 14. So let's do 14. We're going to do CSS part one next here. So that's the three challenges. We're going to go with tutorial number one on CSS part one. Okay, so I've got my squiggly line in there. So now, now that I've gotten a lighter text, I think I'm gonna go back and change this RGB again. I'm not really digging that that green, so maybe I like a, yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that, I'm gonna go with that. Um, yellow on that. Um, my table, my unordered list, unordered list. I'm gonna change that because it's hard to see my unordered list, which is these two. So let's make that one a little darker. Yep, that's better. And my table is fine. I could do a CSS for table, but I don't know that we went over that. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. So we've got some color to this. Now we just want to get some pictures. So the way to do that, um, I'm going to put it underneath our lists, like our tables. So. Remember, we can do image source. So let's do this. I'm gonna do an image source underneath our table for garlic chicken wings. So let's go here. And instead of that picture, I want a picture of garlic chicken wings. So I need to go to Wikipedia so I can go to Google and I can do an image search for chicken wings Wikipedia and that looks pretty good so if I click on it go into Wikipedia right click Come on, right click. There we go. I want copy image address. Go back here and instead of my Scotland picture, I want chicken wings. So let's see if we can make that work. Go in here. Paste. Oh yeah, that's a that's a picture of chicken wings, but now let's make the width much smaller. Okay, so I've gone in there and I've done my width to 150, so it's a much more manageable picture. So now I'm going to go do the same thing for my tri-tip sandwich. I'm going to put that underneath the table as well. And key lime pie. So let's find the table for this. And I'll do that. Go here, 
to my Wikipedia. Let's can I search from just Wikipedia? Well, let's try that. Try tip sandwich. No. Okay. Let's try again. So image. Try tip sandwich. Wikipedia. Most beef sandwich, try to hamburger, mm. Cuban sandwich. Let's just show a picture of the actual tri tip. And we'll go with that. So I'm going to right click again. Copy image address, go back to my deal here. And actually, I forgot to do this. I want the whole image source like this. So, copy that, paste here, go back to my tri tip sandwich, copy image address, and put it in. Right here. Now I got my tri tip. And last picture that I'll do is key lime pie. So I'm going to copy paste this and go down to key lime pie underneath the table. Find myself key lime pie. Let's see if I can try it here again. Key lime pie. Picture. Shoot. Oh, yeah, there's a picture. Okay, perfect. So, right click, copy image address, go back to here. I'm going to not. So, image source. Let's do that first. Go down behind the table. Boom. Boom. Instead of tri tip, I want this picture. Copy image address. Good. Go back. Change this picture out. We want the key line pie. And we're looking pretty good. So if I look at my entire web page now, I've got CSS, I've got pictures, I've got links that go places. So let's just check these out. That goes to my garlic chicken wings. This goes to my tri-tip recipe. This goes to my key lime pie recipe. And if I wanted to see the original recipes, I could go to any one of these and it'll take me there to my recipes. And this is a beautiful recipe book that I know that you will be successful in too. I know this is a rather long tutorial, but it shows the later part of the HTML and the CSS. So I'm going to post this to the classroom. Good luck, and I will see you back in class.